Yeah. On a visit with her grandparents, Tracia Laurel is sharing good news about her career track. I work with the graphic design teams. I can An event planner freelancing with a temp agency. She just completed a three-month-long assignment with Stony Brook University and lined up another one this week with Hofstra University. I do feel like things are starting to pick up a lot more, a lot more. So more business that you like or more business, period? More business, period. According to November's jobs report, the number of temp jobs like Tracia's has risen for the fourth straight month, an indicator the employment outlook may be turning around. The professional and business services sectors added about 86,000 jobs last month. 53,000 of them were temporary workers. That's up 6.7 percent overall. Temp work doesn't peak during the recession. Temp work usually peaks at the beginning of a recovery. Manufacturing is definitely up, office services type of business is up and healthcare has been up. Phil Misserlian owns a leading temp agency in the New York area and says in the last three months, orders for his workers have doubled and 60% of them are long term. Okay. Companies come to a temp agency because they don't want to hire somebody permanently first in a recession and then find out a week later, a month later, they're going to lay them off. Take GameStop, the nation's largest video game retailer. It hired 15,000 part-time employees this fall for the holiday season, a 46 percent increase to its overall staffing. They like to retain good people, and I just hope come January I'm one of those good people they retain. But industry analysts are cautiously waiting to see if demand continues past the holiday peak. With a recommendation letter from Stony Brook, Tracia believes a full-time opportunity will open up in January. He knows I'll be calling. <laughs> as soon as January comes, I'll be calling him. Economists say this could signal two things for our economy, a floor from which the employment rate could rebound, and patience. If this is a recovery, one analyst says it will be a slow one. Jeff? Michelle Miller from the streets of Manhattan tonight. Michelle, thank you.